Barna Health is expected to give their 30,000th vaccine this weekend. Can you tell me about that milestone? Well, it's an incredible milestone and it is a testament to uh, the dedication and the commitment and the talent of so many people uh, working with Arnett, all of our volunteers, our nurses, our clinical and non-clinical staff, and really the support of the community, uh, the folks at uh, Arnett Realty who've made the mall available to us, and all the community organizations that have welcomed us into their doors uh, to be able to take care of their clients and constituents and provide services closest to where they live and work. Well, ideally, Austin, we would love to see 100% of the eligible population vaccinated. We know that's the only way that we're going to be able to provide protection to everyone uh, throughout the community and throughout the region. And that's what we're looking for. It's not about uh, the, the numbers, it's about the percentage of people that are vaccinated. Uh, and we're looking to get everyone who's eligible vaccinated as quickly as possible. Sure, we, and we understand that people have questions and concerns about that. But the vaccine has proven to be incredibly safe. Uh, statistically, uh, the odds of having serious complications are infinitesimal. Uh, they're real for some people, but they're very, very small. And as you and I have talked about, the things that we eat and smoke and drink uh, and even getting behind the wheel are even more dangerous uh, than taking the vaccine. Uh, and it's so important because not taking the vaccine does not only impact your health, uh, but the health of members of our community uh, and the lives of those uh, who are elderly and most vulnerable. Uh, and we're seeing an uptick in the cases. Uh, we were down in the single digits uh, for a period of time of hospitalizations, and now we're back up uh, where we're seeing a consistent number of people in the hospital still every week. And unfortunately, members of our community dying from COVID every week. And this is preventable now. We have plenty of vaccine. We have enough for everyone who wants it. Uh, and we encourage everyone to please consider doing it, if not for yourself, for fellow community members and members of your family and friends. Well, we've gotten tremendous feedback from community leaders and organizations uh, appropriately praising the staff and volunteers of Arnett Health, and I'm incredibly proud and grateful for their efforts. They have been working since the very beginning uh, of the COVID pandemic tirelessly, uh, seven days a week, uh, days, weekends, nights, holidays, uh, just to be able to put together a tremendous response uh, first with the detection uh, of the virus and testing, uh, and then with the treatment and managing so many hundreds of community members in the hospital, uh, many extremely ill, uh, battling COVID symptoms, working under incredibly difficult conditions, uh, full PPE, uh, N95 masks, uh, long shifts, uh, and you know, they've just demonstrated a tremendous amount of resilience, professionalism, expertise and talent and dedication. And now, you know, this is evidence of a labor of love uh, of our staff uh, for their, their fellow workers, their colleagues, their community members, their families, uh, by the effort that they have put forth now in this vaccination effort that has gotten us to 30,000 doses uh, at this point in time. So again, we're just incredibly proud and grateful of all their efforts. We, we do easily 500 to 1,000, uh, depending upon the day of first and second dose uh, vaccinations. Well, I think we could be. Again, it's a question of making sure that everybody who is eligible could be eligible. I think if uh, everyone doesn't come out to get vaccinated, it could take a lot longer. Uh, we know that we're going to be probably giving booster vaccines uh, later in the fall, uh, and the longer it takes to get everyone vaccinated, uh, the more incidents of COVID that we're going to see, and the longer we'll see restrictions on travel, uh, restrictions on businesses and reopening, uh, and venues such as racetracks and sporting events and other things continuing to be uh, closed except to a limited number of people. So the sooner everyone gets vaccinated, uh, the sooner we'll be able to say that there truly is light at the end of the tunnel.